Solid rocket booster nozzle gimbal check. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Go for main engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And zero and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis, reaching the crest of its historic achievements in space. And Houston Atlantis is in a row. Roger, roll. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. And the three main engines on Atlantis have now been throttled down to 72% of rated thrust as the orbiter prepares to pass through the uh, area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The engine's now beginning to throttle back up. Atlantis, you are go at throttle up. Copy, go at throttle up. Three engines looking uh, really good, back at full throttle now at liftoff. The fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. It now has burned uh, half of that liftoff weight in propellant. One minute, 30 seconds into the flight, all three auxiliary power units that provide hydraulic power to the orbiter's systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells providing uh, electricity to all of the systems on board. Atlantis is already 19 miles in altitude, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 20 miles traveling, 2,500 miles per hour. Coming up on staging, the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Booster separation confirmed. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settle, settling out any of the dispersions that have been introduced at the booster separation. Atlantis' uh, performance thus far is uh, exactly as planned as uh, Atlantis heads into orbit, uh, flying heads down, wings level into a historic sunset on its 32nd mission. Atlantis, you are two engine tau. Copy, two engine tau. Atlantis uh, can now reach uh, Zaragoza in Spain in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines are still operating at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. The auxiliary power unit is still in great shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is traveling 3,700 miles per hour at an altitude of 47 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center now 88 miles. Atlantis is uh, getting a boost from the orbital maneuvering system engines on the tail of the vehicle. Those uh, uh, have been burning now for about one and a half minutes. Atlantis, you are negative return. Negative return. Negative return means Atlantis can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. It's already traveling too far, too fa high, and too fast to return to the launch site. Now traveling 6,000 miles per hour, 180 miles from the Kennedy Space Center at an altitude of 62 miles, or about 330,000 feet. This view from a camera on the external tank looking down the length of the orbiter. 
as Atlantis heads into orbit on its uh, 32nd voyage into space. Atlantis, you are pressed to ATO. Copy, pressed to ATO. Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines should one fail at this point. However, all three are still in great shape. I've got a report that the flash evaporator system uh, providing cooling to all of the systems is also uh, operating uh, normally as well. Atlantis is traveling 7,700 miles per hour, 278 miles downrange, 67 miles out in altitude.